Hello, my friends. This is our Joshua Collins with Homeless Advocates for Christ. And I want to just introduce you to Brother Govind from India. He has a powerful testimony from India. He worked with the poorest of the poor there. But go ahead and explain a little bit of your of your testimony, brother. Yeah. Uh, God bless you, brothers and sisters who are watching me. God bless you. I'm, uh, I'm, I, was a, I was a pastor in India. And, uh, and I was born and raised in a Hindu Christian family. And, and I was trained up to became a priest. And, and when I was seeking to see the true God, finally when I was 17, I found Jesus. Then I received Jesus Christ. Then I start ministering to my own people. Uh, telling that Jesus Christ is the only way and truth and the life to go to heaven. And then finally my family kicked me out and, and anyhow, uh, when I was 17 I walked out. And, uh, <clears throat> but God helped me to find a one man Christian. He helped me where he recognized my ministry. Then he told me about that's a Jesus Christ that I have been seeing. You know, I, when I was seeking to see, I saw a light. Uh, under the, uh, in, it's not a vision, like open vision, you know, uh, I saw with my open naked eye, in that light I saw a person like a light and person like hanging on the tree, like a man, like a dead man, but was speaking to me, it was a, I saw that, but I could not understand what it was, no Hindu scripture can, can explain what it was, so I was searching to see that one true God, which the Hindu God says, finally I found this light, then I could not understand. After three months, I met a man, he gave me a New Testament. What I see in his written in 1 Peter 2.24. It says he came to this world to take our sins and infirmities upon his body to die on the tree. By his stripes we were been healed. I have seen somebody in the light person, like a light man, like a dead man hanging on the tree, but was speaking to me. But this book says man died on the tree. Then I was surprised to see how it is possible, which I have seen three months before could be written in this book. I tried to understand, I could not understand. Finally, I sought seeking, reading, reading. Finally, I find out that Jesus Christ, the God of the Bible, you know, who created the heaven and earth, who gives the life to every human, is the true God and Savior to this world. He came to this world. Then I, I received Jesus as my personal Savior, and that day, it totally turned around, true peace and joy and satisfaction come to my heart. Though I was serving in the Hindu temple for 17 years, I never had that kind of experience. That's the first time when Jesus come to my heart, it totally turned around. I felt the heavy load on my shoulder is rolled away from my, my body, which I see God forgiven my sin and took away my sin. And then I accept Christ and start ministering my own family and the temple where I was used to be a priest, but people do not like. Finally, my grandfather kicked me out of the home. I'm only 17, I walk out. It's already now 41 years. I'm walking with Jesus Christ. He never put me to be on the street. He never let me, you know, uh, have hungry without food a one day or one time. God was so good and he's faithful, he's living. He's a living God, he provides me everything. And finally, God used me in India to do the ministry with 30 years until 2006 I was in India I was living there and doing the ministry full time over 600 between 700,000 ungodly people come to the Lord and I baptized them and God used me to establish over 1200 churches there and now the ministry still keep going and growing now about the homeless how did you work with the homeless? Uh, that especially I am the people where I was reaching up the poorest of the poor people in India the people do not have the homes. They born in the street, live in the street, and die in the street. They do not have those kind of the poorest of the poor people. I reach them out, and I bring them into the Lord, and baptize them, find them, you know, build them church and help them. And they are now all born again Christians. They no more begging, no more homeless. They have everything. God provides them miracles. Jesus Christ is the true, true God. I tell you. When Jesus really come to our life, he, he brings the changes. You are not going to be in the same situation. That's what my experience. That's what I saw over 700,000 people that believed in Jesus Christ in India last 30 years. 
who is from Hindu background and different background, mm -hmm. their all their life is changing. No more in their same level they are. Now, how, how did they uh, persecute you? Talk about that a little oh, bit. Oh, that was because I baptized the Hindus, the Hindu fanatic groups. They do not like me. They try to beat me up hundreds of sometimes. Mm -hmm. They put me in the jail many times and uh, you know, tried to kill me. They stabbed the knife in my body two times. They broken my joints more than hundred times. Wow. They found me even my body many times that I'm dead. Mm. And they throw my body into the ditch and ran away. But every time, the next day morning, I wake up, God healed me, gave me the life and healing. You know, I'm still alive. I'm serving the Lord. Finally, 2006, I have to come out of India because they really wanted to kill me. So for the time being, God brought me here. I'm here in here in this country, I'm mm -hmm. still serving the Lord wherever it's available, mm -hmm. and uh, and God is still good, and I thank mm -hmm. God we serve the living God, who's over watching me, my dear brother. Jesus is not God in the stories, God in religion, but He is a real, He's a real God, Amen. that Creator God and Savior God, Amen. and that He can save us and change us our life if we give our life to Jesus Christ. Amen. It's a blessing to talk to you all, and God bless you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. God bless you. Awesome. So, yeah, please pray for this brother, and just pray that uh, he can uh, just reach a lot of people for the Lord, and he wants to help the homeless. He's out here with us as we're doing a little outreach out here today, and it's so glad to meet him. So uh, thanks so much for your prayers and support. If you would like, do join my Facebook group, Homeless Advocates for Christ. You can also email me at servingjesus99212 at yahoo.com. Thanks so much again. May God bless you as you seek God's kingdom first always.